Alright guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you um, the stuff that Eric and I picked up at the rummage sale that you saw yesterday, as well as I'm going to be adding in some other random stuff into this haul as well. Some of it is auction stuff, some of it will be items that already sold, and that kind of thing. Um, so I'm just going to get straight into the rummage sale stuff first. Uh, Eric and I filled just one bag, so our bill was $10. Um, I honestly didn't even really look at the clothes that day. My anxiety was just really high for some reason that day. And I just, I don't know, I didn't... <laughs> I kind of just wanted to leave basically so um, you know I filled a bag and I was pretty much ready after that I didn't even really want to look at the clothes um, so but I am happy with what I did get and I always have to pat myself on the back because even though um, mentally I'm not feeling it I still try to push through sometimes and just get it done and sometimes it's really hard and it's something I don't really talk about um, really ever on my channel but it is something that I struggle with so um, I do have to give myself a little pat on the back when I get through those days that, you know, are particularly hard for me. Um, so we're just going to get right into what all we picked up. Um, there, we spent a little bit of time looking through the VHS tapes and pretty much like the media type of things. And we found this, this is awesome. This is a vintage R.L. Stein Goosebumps audiobook cassette. So it is the book A Night in Terror Tower on a cassette tape. I listened to this yesterday and it was so much fun. Um, it is from 1996 so I thought that was a really fun find. You guys know I like picking up the Goosebumps books when I see them and I never come across stuff like this so I had to grab that. Uh, I did list this as a buy it now for $14.99. This next item is something that people tend to overlook. I'm not saying I'm going to get this much for this vintage hairbrush, but I did list it high. This is a vintage hairbrush by a company called Tip Top. It was the made by the division of Fabergé. I'm not exactly sure the year on this brush in particular. I would guess maybe 60s or 70s on this. Um, it's just a styling brush and it has like a rat tail type of um, end there. So I threw this in my bag. New old stock vintage stuff. I just like to pick up in general. And some vintage hairbrushes can sell on the high side. I did list this one as a buy it now for $59.99. Someone has pretty much the same exact hairbrush listed for $79.99 and some of them do sell on the higher side. I think it definitely depends on the brand and also the type of brush that it is but it's something that you know most people I don't think really know about so I did grab that. I just don't know how quickly it will sell. It might be one that sits for a while. Um, let's see. Next we have this little guy here. I found this on one of the tabletops in amongst all of the other random stuff. It's just a very small little wood um, totem pole and it does have a sticker on the back. It says it's made in Alaska by Tlingit Totems. So I thought that was really cute and interesting. It is of an eagle. And when I looked these up, you know, they do, they do sell. Not for a whole lot, the small ones, but, you know, the larger ones can definitely sell well. Um, but I listed this one for a buy it now of $15.99. Seemed like most of the small ones were selling for around that price. I did get some vintage still sealed VHS tapes and that's something that I think just kind of came about semi-recently where sealed VHS tapes, um, some of them obviously depending on um, the movie, can uh, are selling very high because people are starting to grade sealed VHS tapes kind of like how they're grading sealed video games and obviously sports cards and stuff like that. They're starting to grade VHS tapes and they're selling really high. It's weird and again it is not every sealed VHS tape so 
if you come across a box of sealed VHS tapes, don't automatically think you like ran into a whole lot of money because it's definitely not all of them. It's something that you will have to look up as you find different titles. But I did grab a couple of these and some of them are more like, well most of them are more like um, cartoons and stuff like that, but they're older cartoons so obviously I was interested in them. So this first one is Disney's Darkwing Duck and this is still sealed and there's two glow-in-the-dark trading cards inside of here so I found that was awesome. I did list this one as a buy it now for $19.99. Next, I have two of these vintage Kissy Fur cartoons. These are both, again, still sealed. This one is called Mini Features, and it's titled Bear Roots Special. And then this one is called Hugs and Kissy Fur. These are from 1985. I listed these as the lot together for a buy it now of $39.99. Next one I have is Disney's Tailspin. Some of you guys might remember these cartoons. Um, so again, still sealed. I listed this one as a buy it now for $29.99. This next one Eric grabbed. It's not really worth much at all. It's the X-Files, um, but it's the pilot episode um, as well as an episode called Deep Throat. I didn't really watch the X-Files, so... Um, I'm pretty sure it was like a mystery type science fiction-y thing. Um, but this one, again, is still sealed. And I put that up as a buy it now for $9.99. This next one is definitely an obscure one. Never heard of it before. It's called Lap Dancing. <laughs> it's a little risque there. Um, it's from 1995. Still sealed. Um, and I listed this one as a buy it now for $49.99. Someone has one um, listed for more than that, but one did sell, so some people might be looking for it anyway. Um, and then the last VHS tape, um, Eric found this one. This one is the Double Dragon, The Legend Begins. So this actually, I believe, was a video game. So this one here... I listed really high. Um, I listed it for $289.99. That is a buy it now. There's another one listed. They have theirs listed for $299. And then there's a couple that are listed even higher than that. Um, so, like I said, don't know if I will ever get that for it. But I just kind of list my stuff based on other people's prices and I tend to do mine slightly cheaper than what everyone else is selling theirs for because I want mine to go. Um, let's see, next we have this bottle of perfume. I think Eric found this. It's called Tosca is the name of it. This is really old perfume. It was made in Germany very large bottle. It's a 6.76 fluid ounce. It has been opened. It's not sealed, but it's still pretty full. Um, I did list this on the higher side as well. I listed this as a buy it now for $49.99. Eric picked up these two little vintage Mr. and Mrs. Claus figures. They're made of plastic. One is marked Hong Kong. They definitely go together though. And when you like put them kind of like this, it looks like they're getting ready to lean in for a smoochy kiss. So he thought those were cute. And um, we listed these as a buy it now for $9.99. Eric also took these two angels. Now these angels would have been part of either a pair or a set. But you know, over the years, things get broken. People end up losing pieces. So we decided to get them. This first one is this little white ceramic angel. And she's holding a probably choir book. And her mouth is open like she's singing. It's very cute. And she is marked Japan on the bottom in really nice condition. Um, I put her up as a buy it now for $12.99. And then he also took this one. And this one's pretty similar, except she's wearing like a red robe outfit. But again, her mouth is open like she's potentially, you know, getting ready to sing. And she has a little violin there. This one doesn't have any markings on it, but it's obviously older. Um, and I also put this one up as a buy it now for $12.99. 
I found this purse here. I thought this was really cool. It definitely looked older to me. It's definitely um, a vintage purse. It's a gold metal ribbed, almost like barrel type style. And you open it like this. It's just like a little um, latch here. And it looks like this on the inside. There is a long chain strap. So you can wear it on your shoulder, over your shoulder, like a crossbody, or just tuck the whole chain back in the purse and carry it as a clutch. But there is a little sticker in there and it says it's by Lancome and it was made in Hong Kong. So I'm not quite sure what year this is from, but it's definitely an older piece. Um, I did list this for a buy it now of $19.99. Someone has this same purse listed for $50. I think they're out of their mind. So I listed mine for $19.99. I didn't see any sold, so. Um, I also took this older latex Halloween mask. I was doing pretty well with these Halloween masks. This one is from 1987. It's made by Imagineering Incorporated. It's this like half mask of an old kind of like hobo type man it's pretty creepy um i listed this as a buy it now for 15 dollars 99 someone has this same one listed for 20 so went a little cheaper on that i got this brand new set of um kiss these are just french tip um fake nails i like fake nails and kiss is a really good brand for fake nails so um i took these hopefully they fit my fingers out all right um it says they're petites so i don't know we'll try it out i just threw them in my bag though um is that everything for the rummage sale that is everything for the rummage sale like i said we didn't find a whole lot and that's because I wasn't really in the mood to dig super hardcore. Um, so I have some other things to share with you as well um, in this haul since there wasn't a whole lot from the um, rummage sale. Uh, first thing I have is this vintage, this is a play school like dollhouse figure of a lady police officer. Um, I got a couple of things from the thrift store and she wasn't marked. So the ladies just gave it to me for free. They were so sweet. Obviously, I'm willing to give something for it, even if they only wanted like 50 cents or even a dollar, but they just let me have it. So it's just this um, vintage play school dollhouse figure. I listed her as a buy it now for $9.99. She's not worth a whole, a whole heck of a lot, but um, I like picking up the older dollhouse pieces when I see them. I also got these amazing funky platform boots. How awesome are these? Oh my gosh. If I were a teenager again, I would so wear these. They're not my size or else I'd actually even just consider keeping them because I love them so much. Um, but these are <laughs> some white platform boots. They have this gorgeous like iridescent look to them it's kind of like a snakeskin style print they, they lace up and they also have a side zipper they are a women's size nine i paid three dollars for these at the thrift store great price um like i said i just i fell in love with them um and i listed these for a buy it now of 69 dollars and 99 cents so there are, so I think there's two other listings for them, but no one has a size nine in stock. So got those. Those were a fun find. I got these mugs at a yard sale recently. These are stackable mugs. They are by Stangle Pottery. And they're just red with like a spongeware type of look to them very cute i liked that it was a set and i liked the fact that they um stacked together i thought that was really cute oh my gosh this yard sale it was this sweet older lady and man and the the prices on their stuff oh my gosh it was so cute she had pretty much 10 cents on like all of her stuff so i paid 20 cents for these mugs 10 cents a piece 
I just, I, I just had to like, you know, laugh a little at her price. And she's like, I just want rid of stuff. So, um, I thought that was a great price for those. So I listed those on auction with a starting price of $19.99. I did see someone was trying to sell just one for $10. So since I had a set, I wasn't quite sure um, how to price it. So I put it on auction. These next uh, pair of shoes came from the thrift store as well. And these actually still have, let me put this one down so I can show it to you better. Still has the tags attached. These are vintage men's work boots. Like these are actually steel toe boots, but they have this awesome, very dressy, um, look to them so for anyone who has a job where they you know maybe work in an office but have to go out onto the floor um you know where there's occupational hazards they can still do that without having to change their shoes type of thing so i did pay 15 dollars for these but they were selling pretty well these are by a company called lehigh which make safety shoes but they're obviously vintage and again still have the tags to them so I put these up as a buy it now for $79.99. So it seemed like that brand was selling pretty well. I got this Christmas stocking at a yard sale recently. It's a white teddy bear. And the really cool thing about this is you can put stuff in the front of him as well as the back. So you have two, two sides that you can fill him up with goodies. And this is an older stocking it's by a company called santa's best i paid one dollar for this and i listed it as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents so um stockings by that brand were selling pretty decently a lot of people have theirs listed for um 30 plus dollars so got that i have this little vintage care bears pvc figure i got this at a yard sale i don't know if you guys remember me talking about a yard sale um a couple videos ago where I went and I kind of bundled together a bunch of like random vintage toys and there was a dog there and I was so excited well anyway this little um PVC Care Bear came from that yard sale and I listed her as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents also at that same sale I got this doll piece of dollhouse furniture it is a wooden cabinet. It has a white sink on top. This part is plastic, but the rest of it's wood. And these doors do open. So you could use this in a kitchen or a bathroom. There's also a towel rack there. And it's made, yeah, it's made by Concord Miniatures. This is the sticker on the back. Um, I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99. Next item I'm gonna pop up here actually already sold. Um, this was a Penjoy die cast truck featuring it was pink and it was for bubble yum bubble gum. I paid six dollars for this at an auction and sold it for $55.99. That was my um I purchased that to resell. Eric and I went to an auction and there was a lot of um trucks and stuff like that things that we don't normally pick up um but we did and you know i already sold my truck i'm gonna share with you the trucks that he bought the first one is this harley davidson and again it is a die cast truck um this one here doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm not quite sure what he paid for it. I didn't write it down for some reason. So this one here, he ended up um, keeping, I think he's gonna give this to his dad for Christmas. Um, his dad does collect Harley Davidson items. Eric recently purchased a Harley Davidson, so he's starting to want to collect some stuff as well. But this is not listed and is probably going to his father. And then he also won two more Harley Davidson trucks. These ones look a little bit different. There are two of these. Um, I'll just show you this one, but there is two. They're exactly the same though. So these here we have listed as a buy it now for $94.99. 
So two of those, but mine sold already. We'll also have a couple more um, Avon related items. You guys know I won a bunch of Avon at the auction and I was trying not to like throw it all in the same video so it wasn't overrun with Avon. So I have these three. This is So Very Sophia by Sophia Vergara. These are shower gels. There's three of them. I lotted them all together for a price of a buy it now for $19.99. I have two Avon Rare Diamonds body lotions. I put these together for a buy it now of $12.99. I have this bottle of Haiku perfume. I don't have the box to it. Um, this I have listed as a buy it now for $12.99. This next perfume actually already sold, an Avon perfume. This was called Timeless and that sold for $14.99. I have um, some Avon lipstick. These are all in the shade called Red 2000. They're all sealed. This is kind of like the color of them. And I listed these as sets of two, a lot of two, for a buy it now of $12.99. So I have three sets available of that shade. I have this Avon doll. This is still sealed. It's called the Rose Garden Tea Set Doll. Her name is Rachel Ann, and she is from 1991. Um, I actually listed her as a buy it now for $29.99, and she was free, um, so that was awesome. Next, we have a, this is also Avon. I'm still on some Avon stuff. This is a Diane Von Furstenberg perfume in forest lily is the name of the perfume i'll show you guys the bottle of it, it looks like this i listed that as a buy it now for eighteen dollars and 99 cents i have this carmala this is by mark by avon i like picking up the mark by avon stuff it seems to be a little bit more popular because they don't make the mark i don't think they make the mark line anymore you guys will have to correct me if i'm wrong uh, but this is a body lotion in the scent carmala it is still sealed i listed this for a buy it now of 39 dollars 99 i paid one dollar for that I have this Avon A New Clinical Skin Vincible. This is a deep recovery cream. Still sealed. I have this listed as a buy it now for $12.99. And then the last Avon item I have for this haul is an Amari Blossom perfume. And this one I have listed for a buy it now of $19.99. I'll just show you. The bottle it's a really pretty bottle there so that's it for the avon moving along okay at a yard sale i got these vintage these are by mr christmas they are ornaments they're not really worth a whole lot um they're from 1977 so this one is humpty dumpty he's still in his packaging and they're made of like um i don't know like a papery cardboard they're very lightweight um, this one I have as a buy it now for $19.99. And then they also had this one as well. And it's just like a little girl with a watering can. Again, from 1977, Mr. Christmas. And I listed her for the same price. Buy it now for $19.99. I also have this ornament I got from the same sale. I thought he was so cute. So this is an older goofy Christmas ornament. He is made of plastic and has like a felt um, outfit on and his sticker says Walt Disney Productions made in Hong Kong and then goofy. He does have a little bit like his the sticker on his um, candy cane is coming up ever so slightly. When I saw other ones listed people had had him listed and he was missing his boot and stuff like that so I feel like mine's in a lot better condition than some of the other ones I saw um, but I listed him as a buy it now for nine dollars and 99 cents 
I have two towels. Um, in my last auction video, you saw a towel that looked exactly like this, and I told you guys in the video that I had this towel, and I hadn't listed it yet, so I decided to get that up since Christmas is coming. It's a vintage, just a small hand towel um, with Santa Claus. It looks like one side, his face, he's covering his face, and the other, he's not. And this is by um, Wham Sutta. So I listed him for a buy it now of, no, actually I think he's on auction for $12.99. And then I also, when I found him, I found this flower towel I never listed. So this is a really pretty um, geranium towel. It's larger than the Santa Claus one. Good like kitchen towel. And it says geranium there. And this is by... Who's this one by? This one's by Canon, but it is an older, an older towel. And I listed this one again, I believe on auction with a starting price of $12.99. This next item, Eric won at the auction. This is by Danbury Mint. It's just this really awesome kind of miniature mobile gas station. It lights up. There's a clock on it. It's a really awesome miniature set um, by Danbury Mint. I'm not quite sure what he paid for this. I didn't write it down and I apologize for that, but we did list this as a buy it now for $289.99. So it is worth a lot. We didn't pay that much for it, but we did pay, I'd say a decent amount, potentially a hundred. He's not up here for me to ask him and I didn't write it on my paper. When I'm editing the video, I'll try to throw that in. Okay, the next item, I'm just going to pop up here because it's a very large, it's in a very large box and I didn't want to bring it upstairs with me. At the auction, we also won these Franklin Mint Military Airplanes. This one is of an F-15. We paid $70 for it. It is brand new, still in the box by Franklin Mint. And we listed that as a buy it now for $209.99. And then we also won this smaller version. This one is an F-16. Again, Franklin Mint new in its original box. We paid $50 for this one. And we listed that one for $199.99. So Christmas is coming. There's plenty of, you know, young boys and older men who love these types of things that would love probably to get them as a gift. So um, had to get those up. I want to see what my cha-ching was. Hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting to that. We are getting to that. Uh, before that, I have another thing to pop up that already sold that was on my list here. This was a vintage set of Lisa Frank Halloween stencils. They sold for $12.99 and I got these at a yard sale, a whole baggie of them for 50 cents is what I paid. Next couple of things that I'm gonna share with you guys is more stuff that came from the auction. And I was just like, saying to Eric like every time we go to the auction we become new connoisseurs of something different. This particular auction they had a bunch of Jack Daniels items which we knew nothing about so we took the time to do our research, put all our research in so we knew what stuff was worth and that kind of thing and I think we did really really good um, with these Jack Daniels items. Um, again, I don't have prices down because apparently I never am ready to make videos before I sit down, but I will post up, um, prices as, as I'm doing this. So all of these items are downstairs. I didn't bring anything up with me, so I'm just going to pop up the pictures. Some of this stuff has already sold. Some of it is on auction currently with bids. That cha-ching you heard was one that just ended, so I will update with that information. So the first thing that we have is a Jack Daniels cabinet. Um, this we put up as an auction for $99.99, and it currently is at a $103.15 bid. Next was a shot glass wood display. 
This we have up on auction with a starting price of $39.99, which currently it does not have any bids, but I think it does have about 11 watchers. Next we have a shot glass. This one is a gold one, number seven, still with its box. We have that as up as a buy it now for $64.99. This next item actually already sold. This was a shot glass as well. It was a black one that said Master Distiller that sold for $99.99. Next we have some more shot glasses. This one is a London one with the box that we have as a buy it now for $119.99. Next one is a Holland one with the box as a buy it now for $149.99. Then I have a Holland that doesn't have a box listed a little bit cheaper since it doesn't have the box for $119.99. And then a London one without a box listed cheaper for a buy it now of $84.99. All these items as stated are Jack Daniels. I hope I didn't say Jim Beam. I'm talking about Jack Daniels. I don't know my alcohol. Anyway, uh, this next item was a pocket watch that we have listed for $119.99. People collect Jack Daniels stuff. Oh my goodness. It, it was crazy when I was seeing what some of this stuff was worth. Um, next we have this. This actually just sold. This is the cha-ching you just heard. This was a Jack Daniels you can't no that's not the cha-ching you heard never mind but this already did sell this was a jack daniels decanter we listed this on auction with a starting price of 49 dollars and 99 cents and it sold for 127 dollars and 50 cents next is a tailgate set it has like a flask in there a little carrying case and everything else you need to take along with you um that we have listed on auction with a starting price of $84.99. The next item, we had two sets of these and they both sold. Um, these were a mini flask set. They both sold for a buy it now of $94.99. This next item was a pitcher set. We listed this as on auction with a starting price of $59.99 and it currently is at $94.87. No, that's the one that sold. That just, that was the cha-ching that sold for $94.87. Um, next we have a set of shelves. So these would be to display your shot glasses on. Um, listed that as a buy it now for $149.99. Next we have a mason jar set. These we have listed for $250 buy it now. That has a lot of watchers. There's none others on eBay. Um, then we have a set of barrel bookends. These already sold for a buy it now of $149.99. And then the last Jack Daniels item we have is a display case that has um, glasses with it for a buy it now of $289.99 and that currently has 23 watchers. So yeah, there, there we go. Jack Daniels stuff, who knew? Um, we didn't, so we took the time to edumacate ourselves, as I like to say, and I think we made out pretty well. That's why it is so important, if you don't know about something, to do your research, look it up, and find out what stuff is worth, because you could just be letting all sorts of money just on the table if you don't take the time to research your stuff. So that was a really awesome... Uh, Eric really enjoyed winning all of all of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how it's been selling and that kind of thing. So hopefully it continues to sell and we do 
well we did do really well with um that bunch of Jack Daniels stuff but it's still very exciting so that is everything for this haul um so yeah it was the rummage sale haul and just some other stuff mixed in there for you so I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down in the comments. Um, were you surprised by any of that Jack Daniel stuff? Um, there are collectors out there for everything. And the great thing about a lot of this stuff was it was either new or it still, you know, was in its original boxes and stuff like that because it, you know, originally belonged to someone who was a collector. Um, but yeah, that's everything for this haul. Hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.